Hey everyone, just want to kind of uh, go over my new purchase here of my uh, Senex 16 inch four stroke chainsaw. Yeah, this thing is uh, quite interesting, but what we're going to talk about in this video here is adjusting your valve lash settings. Now the manual does not actually give you the actual, you know, di you know distance for your uh, intake and exhaust valves on here. And yes, this thing does have actual valves on it. Interesting, very interesting. First thing I want to note on this. Uh, <laughs> chainsaw is the amount of bar oil that constantly is leaking out of it. I mean, it's not dramatic, but it's dramatic enough. I mean, if you look up under here, yeah. <clears throat> nice thing is though, you don't have to mix gas and oil in this. But I would be really careful uh, with your... Uh, You know, where you're storing it as far as that goes. Now, the nice thing is it does come with a set of tools. Pretty much. Like right here. Well, these are my tools here. But it does come with your uh, spark plug uh, wrench. A screwdriver on the bottom of it. And it does come with this uh, Torx end right here. Which you do need for uh, some of these uh, different settings. Let's go ahead and get into this really quick. So the top right here, yeah, you take this off. Plastic cover. see I don't know if we even got that the right way or not Ooh, yeah something else I need to do is uh, get a uh, put the chain break into place there there we go look at that valve covers right there spark plug right there exhaust more like a uh, <laughs> I don't know what you want to call that but it is what it is Okay, I'm going to stick this right up here, out of the way. You don't want to lose any of your components, so be really careful with that. We're going to go ahead and take this uh, valve cover off. And their uh, provided instrument right here does work for this purpose. Yeah. It appears that both the uh, ends have a different size. So if you're looking at this, <clears throat> this end right here is a smaller uh, end than what this end is here. So make sure you have the right Torx end when you are doing this. You don't want to screw up. And strip out these screws on here but we'll be back in just a second okay so we got the top cover off now over here we removed the spark plug cover right here and also pay close attention to the uh, guide right down here that slides into the uh, gasket part right here. Spark plug is right here. Here's your valve cover. Now I took out the four Torx screws that were in it. They're all the same size. So you don't have to be worried about that. So what we're going to do next is take out the spark plug. 
And of course, uh, Senex does include these tools. They do give us a uh, spark plug wrench, two different uh, sizes on it, and a screwdriver end at the bottom. So we're gonna carefully insert this on the spark plug and hopefully take it out, right? Ooh, yeah, maybe not. Shouldn't be too awful tight in there, right? Okay, let's see. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Look at that. Yeah, you definitely don't want these uh, in here. <laughs> you don't want to wrench them down in here too tight. It's actually a pretty small spark plug. <clears throat> you want to take the spark plug out so you can actually... Uh, crank the engine get the compression it's a small spark plug too you guys can see the size of it right there pretty standard for these uh small you know actually this is something like i'm more accustomed to seeing in a uh you know a gas and oil mix type of uh engine yeah it's kind of crazy i'm gonna set that up here Okay, so I already have the uh, valve cover freed up. All right, so here is the magic right here. Okay, so what you got, this valve right here, assembly, this is your intake valve. How do I know it's the intake valve? It is closest to the carburetor, which is right under here. This one is your exhaust valve, which obviously because the exhaust is right over here. Now, whole different ball game. What's going on here? And we will be back. I'm gonna grab my feeler gauge so I can show you what I'm talking about. Okay, I want you to see how these valves are moving. Pay attention to this valve right here. This is your intake valve. We're trying to get top dead center on the uh, piston with this valve. So we pulled the crank string here. Okay, the valve is opening. That means that we are on the intake stroke okay the valve has come back up so we're on the compression stroke basically the compression stroke being when the piston comes back up the the, the fuel mixture ignites and then comes back down so now we're going to have Another pull. Okay, you see the exhaust valve right here going down. Okay, so what we're looking for is, okay, there's intake. Okay, that right there, because I measured it earlier, is top dead center. So these little, uh, your rocker arms right here, crankshaft, or your, uh, these are your little, uh, well, okay, the crankshaft's down inside the engine, all right? This is like your rocker arms right here, and your push rods are down on this side here. To adjust these right here, these little pieces, this is kind of tricky. What you have to do with these you have a nut on the outer side. It's your lock nut. 
And what you would do is you loosen up this lock nut right here. But then on the inside, you have a Torx. That is your adjustment point. Let me just show you what I'm talking about really quick. Hold on. Yeah, this is like really, really kind of screwy, Louie. Hopefully I can show you. So like, okay, here's a Torx, right? Here's my Torx. I'm not sure the exact size because, you know, this is like Chinese made. But, you know, these things, you don't have to wrench them down, so you're not going to have to worry about screwing anything up. But what you would do is you would put a wrench. And in this case, this is a, a 5 16th. Yeah, it's not an exact fit. That's why you're not going to wrench on it. But what you would do is you would loosen up this nut first and then use your Torx wrench downside here to either tighten or loosen this assembly to set your lash on your rocker arm right here. Now let's double check something here really quick. Now, I'm just going to go on the standard, uh, oh man, what is it, and where, okay, yeah. I'm going to point zero zero six on this. Now, you see how that kind of just slides in there barely? Good and firm. And same over here. 0 0.006, yeah, it's it's tight. Probably need a little bit more to go, but that is how you adjust your valve lash on this Senex 46cc engine. Take your time, do not rush, do not screw up your gasket either. Now you're gonna have carburetor adjustments you also will have to do as well. I have to order a special uh, tool for that because it's like a, uh, I believe an A circle type of little wrench that you need. I have all these other wrenches for carburetor adjustments, but I do not have an A circle one. So yeah, other than that, you guys let me know what your experience has been with the uh, Senex 16 inch 46 CC straight gasoline no mixture engine and i'll see you on the next video till then peace